you're watching Dave's TV. And now to Dave in his man cave. Take it away, Dave. What's up, everyone? Dave from Dave's TV, and welcome to the man cave. Um, I'm going to do another beer review, and uh, I'm, a, I'm like what I call summer bears, I have none in the fridge. So, I have a special one today. Me personally, never heard of. Um, it's called an Ivory Stout, or White Stout. It's by Brewlink Brewing Company. I believe it's out of Indiana. 12 fluid ounces, 4.8% ABV, which I'm a little shocked that it's not higher, but that's okay. Let's see, Ivory Stout, a smooth as silk white oatmeal stout with natural flavors added. Aromas of creamy oats, cocoa nibs, vanilla, and coffee. It pours white as day with a frothy, creamy head that will leave your senses confused. Uh -oh, I love this already. Don't let your eyes deceive you and let the flavor speak for itself. Hmm. All right, all right, this can has got some pretty cool looking artwork. It's got like ghosts and skulls and all kind of stuff on it. Kind of like a Halloween design. Show it to you right there. So let's try this bad boy out. I'm a little interested in what it's gonna look like because when I say stout, I'm usually looking dark. This says not so, so let's see. Okay. Okay, I'm intrigued right now because when I, every stout I've ever drank was dark as night. Plain and simple. That does not look like, it does have a light amber color to it, maybe a light goldish color. It's kind of hazy looking. It almost looks like a lager or an IPA. There's a little bit in there. Alright, we're gonna kinda without me spilling it. Kinda stir it up a little bit. Oh yeah, she's looking pretty cool. Alright, let's see what she smells like. Oh yeah, I can smell the vanilla. Definitely coffee. What else was in there? Vanilla and coffee. Cocoa. Yeah, I thought I smelled kind of like something like chocolate, but it must be the cocoa. Man, that smells good, man. That smells like you're about to drink a frappy or something. Well, cheers everyone. I'm about to drink my first ivory white stout. Yeah, okay. Initial taste, coffee. I mean, as soon as I put it in my mouth, it was coffee. I can I can taste the hint of the vanilla, and then the aftertaste, you can kind of taste the oats. Kind of like a oaty, oaty, is that even a word? <laughs> like a oat taste, like oatmeal, but really light. Um, but the coffee is the more dominant. So I'm gonna take another swig. Yeah, the coffee is the more dominant. You can taste the others in there, um, like the vanilla uh, and the oats, especially on the aftertaste. It's got great carbonation in it. it, has the head still going a little bit, probably about uh, a little less than a finger width. Um, colors, but head for it. This is a stout, peeps. And I've never seen one like this. I've, I've heard of them. But I was like, man, nah, there's no way. But uh, can't say that now, because there's a way. This is a stout. It tastes like a stout. And matter of fact, this is a really good tasting stout. I would definitely buy another one of these. And it's only 4.8%. It 
So we can drink a couple of these and be all right. Um, yeah, I like this, man. I wish I had another one in the fridge. I'd drink it after I got done filming. All right, man, that's good. I like the artwork on here. The artwork is really nice. Um, it says design and characters by Watto. So um, they have a website, brew, brewlinkbrewing.com. I'll put that in the description. Um, that's about all there is on it. Um, huh, so pretty cool. But it says out of Indiana is where the brewing company is. Huh, all right. Um, before we wrap this up, I got to thinking on my first video, I, I basically said I was going to try to do one, maybe two a week, and I averaged it out. I'm up to 21 videos. This is my 22nd. Um, I'm averaging about five a week, and I'm like really shocked because they don't take that long to do. So as long as I'm starting to run out of beer, and I got some Oktoberfest, a couple Oktoberfest, and I got a few um, pumpkin beers that I want to do in October. I got something special that I want different things I want to do in October. So I'm trying to hold on to them. I do have some friends that just came back from California, David and Barb Marsh, which is Brian the Beer Style's sister and his brother-in-law. Um, they bought us some beers back from Cali, so I'm excited to try them. And she lives maybe a mile away. So I'm going to go over there maybe this weekend and try to pick those up. Um, but everyone, please subscribe. I'm trying to hit 60 subscribers by the end of the weekend. It's a long weekend. I'll give it to Monday. I got 56. Four more. That's all I need for this week. Four more. I got short-term goals. So... Whoever subscribed, I truly appreciate it. And if you haven't, subscribe, like, comment, and share this video, please. Share it on Instagram, Twitter. I also have accounts on there, which is on my channel. Um, also have Facebook. So share it. And if you like it, subscribe. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost anything. So uh, once again, everyone, please drink responsibly. And please don't drink and drive. Cheers. That's a good white stout. That's, I give that an A plus, without a doubt.